Are events actually coming back? This is a question that I'm going to be trying to answer in this video. I'll be providing some evidence as to why I think it might be happening actually very soon and why events might not look the same but still have some of the same tendencies. Obviously, the disclaimer here is that uh, nothing is guaranteed and this is just a theory. Let's hop into today's video. So I wanted to start off by talking about the obvious cars that have been implemented recently into the game but are unknown as to what they are for and these are the screw tank the hover bike and the jet bike not to mention a safety tie was also implemented into the game but obviously that can only be found through the game's code because of the fact that we have not seen anybody actually use it on the track so uh, we can't take all too much away from this just yet. However, if you think about the aspects as to um, kind of what these cars mean, one thing comes to the mind, and that is the item shop. I have timestamps down below. One is negating the item shop. So if you do want to just skip to that part uh, as to why it's not the item shop, uh, you can definitely do that. But let's talk about why this is not just an item shop car in my opinion so as many people know colin furs is one of the biggest youtubers on the platform he obviously has over 10 million subscribers which is a huge mark but uh i've done a video similar to this before and um basically what he does is he creates stuff like this aka the screw tank which is what we see in the game Amongst other things, uh, if you go to the mo most popular uploads, you can also see that he has created the hover bike and the jet bike, aka hover bike, jet bike. So that is one thing that we wanted to cover in this. And then just uh, as a really quick disclaimer, if we go back to the uh, newest added uh, video, we can see that um, in the top left hand corner, there is the sticker that we saw, whoopsies, there's a sticker that we saw here. So pretty straightforward. Otherwise, what does this mean kind of in general for uh, Night Shape and what or how are we gonna act upon that? So I'll give you my theory and I'll let you kind of develop your own thoughts about this. Travis said, and uh, you can see up here, that's, um, tr that's Travis, but um, he said that um, in the future, what we will be seeing is we will see um, essentially something as a collaboration with Nitrotype and Colin Furs. And this can be seen with hashtag Nitro Furs. If we go to the uh, special sauce achievements and we look at another car from the wiki we see that every single achievement has hashtag nitro furs with it and obviously if we go to the hover bike achievement then we'll see as said before hashtag nitro furs one thing that is pretty interesting about this is that it doesn't look like it's a gold achievement. I'm not completely sure if that means that it won't be or it'll be for everyone, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But um, anyways, hashtag Nitro Furs, aka this is some type of collaboration in some manner. And before we go fully into negating the autumn shop, I just want to bring up the quick point that if we have one kind of type of theme of cars if that makes sense and one sticker i don't see that as a basis for the item shop because of the fact that um you know obviously that is not something that is in general what people do um if we go to the or if we just do a quick google of the fortnite item shop what we'll see is that there is a huge diversity of uh kind of things that could be in the item shop. For example, if we click on a random uh, screenshot, we see that we have a marshmallow, we have a fish stick, we have a cuddle team leader, 
and then amongst other things. So just in general, we need, we like to see a diversity of stuff. Now, this obviously doesn't mean that that won't be implemented in the game, but um, it's possible. However, I want to talk about why I think this might be a mini event. Obviously, mini events are something that uh, we have seen in the past. If we go to uh, the leaderboards and we go to the pack event, uh, that only lasted two weeks. And this might be something that could be implemented in the game. And this also can go into the fact as to why it might not be actually the same as it usually is. Because of the simple fact that um, obviously... Uh, we are currently in the middle of season 29, and according to Travis, um, this will come out within the next week or two. So yeah, if we go to pack event of season 13, May 4th through May 18th, so obviously 14 days. Obviously 14 days is not a long time, but it's cool because uh, there were still cars that you could get and still stuff that you can get in that regard. So at the end of the day, it is really uh, kind of what we need to think about as to maybe or whether or not we will actually see this uh, implemented into Nitrotype. If you want my quick theory as to what will happen, I would say, in my deepest uh, opinion, that we will see an event, a mini event type come to Nitrotype. Obviously, this isn't guaranteed, but it is possible. So, we just kind of need to think about it and take that into perspective as to what uh, we kind of need to see from a mini event in general. Because it is really cool that we have these kind of things that Nightshine might be doing. And um, I'm super excited to see what they kind of bring here. So kind of my final thoughts on this, if we do see, actually I'll quickly talk about why it's negating the item shop. Um, so I wouldn't see that uh, it is an item shop card because as I said before, following one theme might not be the way that this type usually goes, um, but you never know. Also, um, if they want to implement more stuff into the item shop besides just those four things, then I feel like they would implement it with um, the previous uh, things. Also. I, also, really quickly, I'd also like to say that um, I generally feel like Nitrotype gives people a heads up before they implement something so big like an item shop. But then again, we haven't seen much heads up as to um, this uh, mini event or whatever could come from this. So, are events actually coming back? Maybe. <laughs> we never know. And if they are coming back, they are probably in a different form than what many people usually love. Some people might not find that um, inspiring. Some people might find that like not inspiring. <laughs> not inspiring, if that makes sense. But in my opinion, I'd say that it is a cool thing for Nightshape to do, especially as we are soon to see the loss of the leaderboards on Nightshape. It'll be cool to bring more diversity amongst cog or er, co uh, um, cosmetic stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you everyone so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did um, enjoy this video or if you did watch this point, uh, put down hashtag NitroFurs in the comments and I'll be sure to um, give your heart a comment and say OG or no, like a real fan or something. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and peace out.